Greetings, one and all, and welcome to Dual Wielder's Writing Debugging, where I break down writing tips and tactics into bite-sized chunks to help you improve your own writing. In this installment, let's discuss originality and creativity. But what exactly are we talking about when we mention whether or not something is original? Some will say that there are only seven types of stories, but I've always found that to be an extreme oversimplification. Yes, if you boil it down, most stories, whether fiction or non-fiction, do fit into broad classifications, but there's so much room for variation in setting, tone, pacing, and more to make them all unique and distinct from one another. But there's more to it than that. When we mention how original something is, we mean whether or not it feels too similar to something that's come before. As an example, let's look at my favorite genre, fantasy. J.R.R. Tolkien was the father of modern fantasy, and as such, many elements of his work became tropes of the genre. Think about how common it is for there to be elves and dwarves alongside humans fighting either orcs or something that is functionally similar to them. Now, this isn't to say that you can't use those races. The key is to make them unique to your writing. Don't just ape off of what those that came before have created. Perhaps you can come up with unique reasons for how they came to be, or a new way to make them functionally different from humans. Because if they're just the same as us, aside from having pointy ears or being short, then they aren't really something new, now are they? A great way to start developing an original work can start with a simple question. What if? What if there was a school that taught magic? What if humanity was pushed to the brink of extinction by aliens? What if there was a monster that could impersonate people that you knew? A truly original and creative work can stand the test of time, whereas many that mimic what's popular at the time will become lost to it. For example, let's take a look at Bionicle. It was a huge part of my childhood, and it obviously was for many others as well, given that its fan base is still going strong to this day. The concept for the story originated with one of the creators, Christian Faber, having to take injections to help combat a brain tumor. He mentioned that he imagined the injections being comprised of little soldiers being deployed to fight the tumor. So what if? What if there were small warriors dropped into a new setting to fight an inexorable evil? And this was expanded into the concept of six primary characters. The Toa, landing on the island of Matanui in canisters, being deployed to face against the evil Makuta. Do you see how the original idea was expanded upon to create something unique? The beings of the universe were then designed to be biomechanical and wield elemental powers, allowing Bionicle to stand out even more amongst its competition. Given that the line saved LEGO from bankruptcy, I'd say that that speaks volumes for how well it performed, and a large part of that was due to its uniqueness, the creativity in its construction. It didn't rip off of other works. There were similarities, yes, but it was largely original. It had such an impact that people are creating their own fan content of Bionicle to this day. It's incredibly impressive. And that is the takeaway. Don't try to copy another work. By all means, draw inspiration from other works. That's how you get started. Everyone draws inspiration from various sources, but make your work your own. Expand on it, delve into it, and live your writing in your head so that it can become something that's alive for you. So, in short, let your ideas develop based on your inspiration. Don't just copy what others have done. Don't rush it. Let it develop its own pulse in your brain so that it can become its own fully-fledged piece. But I would like to thank you for watching. If this video helped you out, then feel free to leave a like if you're so inclined, and subscribe to see more. And may you all have a weapon in each hand.